friends, welcome to the Breaker 2.0. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, where we're believing for breakthrough in every area of your life, in your health, your finances, your relationships, and of course, your walk with Jesus Christ. Uh, let's start off this year strong. And today, as we're talking about breakthrough, we're going to talk about breakthrough in dreams and visions. Now, my guest today, Prophet Jesse Shamp, of course, he is a prolific prophetic voice in our generation, and his family, the Sham family, they are an incredible, integral family of prophets in our nation, America. Prophet Jesse Sham, welcome to the show, The Breaker 2.0. Hi, Dr. Ben. Thank you for having me. It's a blessing to be here with you today. Well, praise God. I've known you and your brother and your family for quite some number of years, and it's always great to come together like this. So, uh, I think it's incredible because people think about your brother, Prophet Charlie. They can think about you as well. But really, you, the Shem family, you are a family of prophets. Why don't we start off by talking yes. about this family of prophets and how important that is on the earth today? Absolutely. Um, my family, a lot of things changed in one meeting where my father was an usher in one of David Hogan's meetings when he came to Columbia, got an impartation. I got blasted 12 years old uh, and a lot started to change in my family in that season. My brother went through a very powerful deliverance, got set on fire, got off of drugs and alcohol, and he's just been on fire ever since. Uh, now, God has marked my family We've been around the world. We've done a lot for the kingdom. And we're grateful that the Lord would use us in the ways that he has. My father's been in and out of the nations for many years. We're actually about, um, or we're going to Korea for two weeks. So we're excited about that, me and my father. And so God's used my family in miraculous ways. My brother, Prophet Charlie, especially. And so we're incredibly blessed. Uh, I have a wife as well, who's a prophetic voice, very powerful, very sharp. And so we are looking forward, my friend, to 2024 and everything that God will do. Yeah, amen and amen. Well, I love everything that you've shared. You know, my father uh, is a pastor, was a pastor, 25 years of a local church. So I was raised as a PK. And you all know the story. You know, I was a prodigal for seven years, but the Lord reeled me back in. Amen. And here we are today. Amen. You know, uh, my mother, she's currently on my board, a CFO of our ministry, pretty much at my right hand. My father's a full-time missionary now in the nations. So revival is family and family is revival. Mm -hmm. And I believe my story, my testimony of Prophet Jesse uh, story testimony, there is a family revival anointing that's coming over you. So go ahead and receive that, people of God, in Jesus' mighty name. I love what you said. One meeting changed everything. God marked your family from that one meeting. How powerful yeah. is it, Prophet Jesse, to have an anticipation that this is the one? This might be the one. This broadcast today mm -hmm. is the one that will change everything for your life. How important is it to have that type of anticipation? Very important. Very important. And in regards to your testimony, I can so relate. Um, but yes, uh, the deep touch of the Lord in our lives is very important. And there are levels of the touch of the Holy Spirit and Jesus in our lives. We can get filled with the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues. Absolutely. I, uh, I agree with that. We need that in the, the, the American church. But there's a deeper touch. And even right now in this hour, there is a deeper touch, something of an invitation from the Lord that God wants to give each of us, each and every one of us. God wants to take us into those deeper places, deeper in the river, deeper in his spirit. It's very important that we stay hungry for God this hour and we have an expectation for the Lord to move and miracles and signs and wonders. Well, I, I love what you shared about the deeper touch because, you know, many ministers, uh, we can all fall into the danger of being married to ministry. 
right? Or the business of ministry, the works of ministry, the machine of ministry. When really our job is to be ministers to the audience of what? Our job is to be yeah. at the feet of Jesus, like Mary, you know? And so we all need that deeper touch. And the deeper you go, the higher you will go with the Lord. And that is what we're going to talk about today. What happens, Prophet Jesse, when there's a deep touch from God? What happens? What happened to you from that deep touch from the Holy Ghost? Um, yes, you know, I was marked by heaven. That's what happens. You get marked by heaven. And there's, <laughs> there's good and bad that comes with that. Because once you're marked, the enemy sees it. And he comes after you with everything that he has. And there's something in you, uh, deposit, deposited in you, that you carry now forever because of that deep touch. And there's been seasons in my life where I've had the deeper touch. Uh, but the enemy sees the anointing, sees the mantle, the call, and he goes after young prophets. He goes after young pastors the enemy sees the call. Demons see the call. So the anointing, though it's a blessing, and it's meant to be a blessing, it, it can be very difficult to carry because you become a target to the darkness. So as much as we want, as much as we want mantles and gifts and impartation, there's a responsibility that comes with these things. We have to know how to carry it and steward it and live the lifestyle that we are to live that the anointing demands. The anointing demands holiness. The, the anointing demands right living. The anointing demands uh, right choices. So it's very, very important. Very important. Wow, I love what you shared uh, that the enemy comes after you. I mean, I don't love that part, but it does come with the territory. Because uh, when David was anointed as king, you see that there was adversity. So I preach this many times. The anointing on your life attracts adversity, right? You know that you're called and anointed by the adversary that you're facing. David became king because of Goliath. Um, and so the anointing does attract warfare, but the deeper touch will begin to attract that warfare, that Demonic attack because the devil does not want you to be anointed. Now, let me ask you, Prophet Jesse, how do we deal with the warfare? How do we break through this warfare? How do we break through this uh, oppression that the enemy is trying to sabotage and cause us to forfeit from the calling of God? We have to have wisdom in our warfare. We have to be thoroughly trained. Uh, properly trained, equipped with the armor of God, knowing the word of God, walking in the mind of Christ. Because the enemy has no power. But the enemy can gain access to us when we are out of God's will, when we are disobedient to the Lord, things can come. So it's very important that we are rightly aligned with God's word, rightly aligned under his lordship, as he is the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. The Lord will lead us and guide us. He's never going to lead us and guide us into being destroyed. It's when we stray or when we disobey the Lord that demonic things uh, happen on a, on a greater scale. So the Lord will always protect us. The Lord will always lead us, guide us, and protect us. David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff com comfort me. So the enemy has no power. We're called to tread upon snakes and scorpions. The devil is underneath our feet because we have now been lifted, been raised up with him, and we are seated with him in heavenly places. Knowing that, walking in that, changes everything. Amen and amen. And and obviously, we're talking about today breakthrough in dreams and visions. 
Now, a lot of people watching right now, they may be getting attacked in the night hour. We understand that the night hour is a vulnerable time, right? It's it's a time where mm. many people, their their guards are down. It's, it's a time where temptation may creep in, crawl around. It's a time frame where loneliness, depression, certain acts of sin is open towards. And But then I believe whether young or old, the Lord wants to be the fire by night. He wants to be your yes. fire by night. Prophet, how important is it for us to be guarded in the night hour, maybe even in the dark night of the soul? And then mm. we're going to talk about uh, breakthrough and dreams and visions. But I sense that many people are being attacked in the night hour. Mm. Uh, so very important. And I'm glad we're on the subject. I have kept seeing this in the spirit realm uh, in the night hours. I keep seeing a serpent. And what this serpent wants to do is bite and devour. And I think of the children of Israel in the wilderness, how they were snake bit. And as long as we're in the will of God and, and we're, listen, the enemy cannot touch you. So there's no need to fear. When they were bitten, Moses was commanded to lift up the pole with the bronze and serpent on it, that they would look on the pole, which looked much like a cross. And as they looked upon it, they were healed. Those that looked upon the cross were healed, which is symbolic of our Lord Jesus Christ and the blood and the atonement. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus this season and don't fear the dreams that the enemy is trying to unleash on you right now because they're lies. The enemy will lie to you and he will give you dreams and we have to discern what's a God dream, what's a demonic dream, what's truth, what's a lie, what's of God and what is not of him. Because there can be dreams that are given to you that are of the wrong spirit. And these are the stream, these are the dreams we need to bind and say, I'm not receiving that. The enemy's not going to do that to my family. I break that in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And this is the hour the enemy is raging and bringing about fear. So be on guard of a spirit of fear. Watch for the spirit of fear. Don't receive it. Wow. This be on guard of that. This is incredible. Amen. But, you know, I I really feel that God is going to invade some people in dreams and visions. So people of God, get ready for what God's about to do. We'll talk to you right after this break. The Breaker 2.0. But the supernatural knowledge, it defines all odds. Many people, uh, they, they marvel and they stand back and say, how is this so possible? Because it's so profound. Well, you know, Apostle, of course, there's many people who say the written word is all we need. Of course, the Bible, right? Basic instruction before leaving earth. The Bible, the word of God, the written logos is infallible, can never be replaced. It's God's word. However, what's the difference? Is there a difference with the written word and supernatural knowledge? What people don't realize, a lot of atheists, they, they really spend time studying the Bible like another book. Uh, they'll dissect it into scriptures, but they never experience a life encounter until the Holy Spirit begins to transform their lives. You will break through in the divine knowledge of God. Tracy Allen Cook, he's going to begin to share more in how to operate in the gifts of God. Like God asked him, what do you want? Hey there friends, welcome back from our short break. And today on The Breaker 2.0, we're talking about breakthrough in dreams and visions. Now you see Prophet Jesse Shamp, he was called by the Lord at a young age. And even now he's moving in miracle signs and wonders. Uh, we're gonna talk about breakthrough in dreams and visions. Prophet Jesse, welcome back to the show. My friend, thank you for having me. Well, the first part was incredibly powerful. I love the journey. Uh, of your life that we began to talk about. And, you know, 
Dreams and visions is such an important way God speaks to us and ministers to us. Uh, you look at the story of Daniel. You look at the story of Joseph. Uh, you know, these are uh, profound patriarch figures in the Old Testament Bible uh, that they had dreams. They interpreted dreams. They had visions. Uh, I love what Lou Engel says, that dreams and visions is the end times language. According to Joel chapter 2, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Mm, your old yes. men will have dreams. Your young men will have visions. How important yes. is it for us to have breakthrough in the spiritual realm of dreams and visions? My friend, God wants to speak to his people with dreams and visions. The Bible says that in the last days, God will pour out his spirit upon all flesh and his sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will have visions. Your old men will have dreams. Dreams and visions are very important. And in regards to our destinies, very, very significant. I've had powerful dreams since I was a young boy, but there's just a few I want to talk about on the broadcast today. Uh, one being, I had a stadium vision many years ago, stadium vision, where I saw stadiums in America filled with thousands of people. The presence of God, the glory of God was explosive. God was moving powerfully, signs, wonders, miracles, and there was a great awakening in America. I believe we are right on the cusp of this happening and God is going to move very powerfully in America. God is not done with America. This is America's greatest hour, I believe. I believe this is a time of harvest. It's a time of revival. It's a time of awakening. One dream that the Lord has given me uh, just a few months back, I want to say six months back, was a dream about the white tents in America. Just like in the 1950s, we're going to see the white tents again in America like we did in the days of the Voice of Healing with A. Allen and Gordon Lindsay. We are going to see something begin to break out in the tents. I'm not saying God can't move in revival in the churches, but there's something that is going to happen very significant within the tents. Why? Because God desires for a harvest of souls to come in. And he is now swinging the sickle. As many are waiting in the valley of decision, it's harvest time. Wow, this is incredible, Prophet. Thanks for sharing those dreams. Now, I know there's some viewers watching, and maybe you get a lot of dreams in the night. Maybe you have visions, and we're going to talk about visions uh, in, in the next few minutes, but how do you know if this is a word for the church, right? I mean, a lot of people can say, you have the Bible, the, the written word, mm -hmm. uh, the inerrant word, infallible word of God. We don't need dreams and visions, but wh what's your response, prophet, that God speaks still and even in dreams and visions and that it's many times personal or it even can be uh, prophetic for the corporate body of Christ. How do we discern this? The word of God is most important. And it is actually the measuring rod that we use for dreams and visions. You know that God is speaking to you through a dream when it, it's powerful, it's vivid, it's, it's not just a dream or a vision. Because listen, we're, we're not just talking about dreams and visions here. We're talking about much like an encounter. That's how the word of the Lord comes to me through a dream or a vision. It's an encounter. It's not just a dream or a vision. It's I'm there, prophet Ben. I'm there in the spirit. I've gone somewhere in the spirit. And what you come to understand, and this has my, been my experience, is that the dream, the vision, is more real than this earthly world. What God is speaking to you in that dream, in that vision, is more real than what you see happening around you. And it must become very real to you. Because you have to give yourself over to the vision. You must be committed to the vision, the dream, 
or it's not really from the Lord. So if you're not willing to sacrifice for it, be obedient for it, go through what you have to go through to see the breakthrough in it, then I would say it is not a dream or a vision from the Lord. We're on the subject of dreams and visions, and I want to share something, Prophet Ben. I believe that the Lord is wanting us to enter into these places in the spirit. And this was an encounter that I had as I was just seeking the Lord, laying on my bed, knocking on the door of heaven. And I said, Lord, the word of God says, you will come like the rain and you are the rain maker, Lord. And I'm laying on my bed and I'm ministering to the Lord. And I said, Lord, would you make it rain in the natural? Would you just make it rain in the natural? And I I live in a town with like, 5,000 people. And, you know, it hardly ever, you know, just begins to rain like this. But it started to downpour rain. And all through the night, just this downpour of rain. Wow. This vision, this encounter, what the Lord is revealing through this, I believe to me is the importance of childlike faith. That if we are like a child in the spirit, in the sense of our faith being like a child, we will see tremendous breakthroughs. God wants us to dream with him, co-labor with him, yes, but the Lord desires for us to want to see breakthrough for the church, to want to see revival for the church, to dream big, to ask him for doors to open, to believe for the impossible. And I believe what the Lord was showing me is that we can pull out of the supernatural realm and bring it into the natural realm with our faith. If we are so bold to have that childlike faith. I believe many breakthroughs and miracles will happen as we just simply move in childlike faith. Wow, this is a powerful prophet. Uh, I believe uh, you, you've laid out some great keys and principles. Childlike faith, having great faith. Because, I mean, God is alive. God is still speaking 100%. And he wants to have that intimate relationship with every single one of us. And uh, he wants to show us things. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me, and I will show you great and unsearchable things. Call to me. And the Lord wants to download these things to you. It's not just for the special prophets, the uber prophets. You know, it's not just for prophets, but this is the inheritance of every child of God. Let me ask you this one last yes. question, prophet. Uh, how important is it for us to be connected to the Lord in these ways, in these supernatural ways? Because it's not just for the Bible days, but these encounters mm-hmm. and this type of relationship with Holy Spirit is available for us today. How important is that? Amen. It's very, it's very important. And this is a key that I have used throughout the years. Be hungry for God to speak to you in dreams and visions. Ask for the Lord to speak to you in dreams and visions because the Lord wants to speak to you. The Lord wants to give you encounters. The Lord wants to give you direction in your life, in your business, in your destiny, in your ministry. But we need to be faithful to knock on the door of heaven. Matthew 7, 7, ask, seek, and knock. And the Lord has spoken to me much uh, about Matthew 7, 7 over, I would say, the past two years. And I've really been knocking on the door of heaven. And this has opened opened up encounters for me where I'm just finding myself in a dream. I'm finding myself in an encounter because I'm hungry, because I'm ministering to the Lord, because I'm open for the Holy Spirit to speak to me. So I would say one of the greatest keys to receiving dreams and visions is making yourself available for the Lord to speak to you. Peter did this. Peter had a time every single day where he met with the Lord on the rooftop. A a specific time 
where the Lord spoke to him. And he went into a trance and he saw a vision of a sheep coming down. And the Lord said, Arise, Peter, kill and eat. And Peter's not even believing what he's seeing. Uh, Lord, it's not lawful for me to eat this or eat that. Or, or what? This is, see, God will sometimes give us dreams and visions where we are like, whoa, this is out of my wheelhouse. This is out of my box. God's wanting to bring you into deeper revelation. God's wanting to bring you into deeper understanding. And even though your mind sometimes is fighting it, that's where the word of God comes in because the Lord is wanting to reveal truth to you. So it's now time to go to the measuring rod of God's word and find scripture on what God is giving you. Wow, this is incredible. I believe, prophet, many people are going to start receiving an impartation for dreams and visions right now. Um, even as you're sharing, I'm getting hungry. I'm feeling the stirring, the pooling. This is incredible. Friends, are you ready to dream big with God? Are you ready for secret intel, revelation, encounters with Holy Spirit? Now, Prophet, um, we're going to be bringing this broadcast to a close. But very quickly, for the next 30 seconds, uh, how can people find you, follow you? And I believe you have a new book. Absolutely, my friend. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing this broadcast with you. Um, people can find us on our website, spiritwordministries.org. I have just released my new book, the, the Mantle of the Prophet, which is available on our website and Amazon. And I go into the history of prophets. Uh, what is the biblical model of a prophet? I go very deep into prophetic history, past movements of prophets. This is an incredible book that will be a great resource and a great weapon in your hand and understanding how to receive a prophet and understanding how a prophet moves, functions. We're in a season right now. I believe God is raising up prophets. I believe that there's something new happening in the prophetic movement. So this is a tremendous book that will really bless you that I've written in the midnight hours, burning the midnight oil. It'll bless you big time. So I encourage you to get your copy of The Prophet's Mantle. Amen and amen. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks so much for pouring out your hearts today on Breakthrough in Dreams and Visions, Prophet Jesse. Y'all, let's give it up for the man of God, Prophet Jesse Sham. Thanks for being on our show. Are you ready for Breakthrough in Dreams and Visions? I hope today's episode got you even more hungry for the things of God. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim with The Breaker 2.0, where we are believing for breakthrough in every area of your life. And today, my special guest, Prophet Jesse Schamp, and I, we talked about breakthrough in dreams and visions. Expect it, believe it, and dream big. God bless.